Inside the AHSAA, your weekly look at Alabama prep athletics. Brought to you by Russell Athletic, Wilson, Team IP, Cadence Bank, Coca-Cola, Encore Rehabilitation, Farmers Insurance, and AL.com. Welcome to Inside the AHSAA. I'm your host, Luke Robinson. This week, we'll be taking you through everything going on in the world of Alabama high school athletics. The City of Montgomery, the AHSAA, and its coaches group, the Alabama High School Athletic Directors and Coaches Association, announced Wednesday that they have agreed to extend the contract of events hosted by the city for five more years. The new agreement extends some contracts and renews some others that are expiring. It begins this school year, 2012 through 2013, and for the following four years. The announcement was made jointly by AHSA Executive Director Steve Savarese and Montgomery Mayor Todd Strange at a special press conference at the AHSA office. Montgomery hosts a myriad of events including the annual AHSA Summer Conference and All-Star Sports Week, which is considered one of the largest single conventions in the city each year. Other events hosted by the City of Montgomery include the AHSA State Baseball Championships, the State Softball Tournament, at least one division annually of the State Tennis Championships, Volleyball Super Regional Tournament, the Alabama-Mississippi All-Star Football Boys and Girls Basketball Games, and the AL.com's Champions Challenge Preseason Football Classic. We are very pleased to make this announcement, AHSA Director Steve Savary said. The City of Montgomery is an excellent host for our many events. We think this partnership is important for our member schools and for our city economy. This is a win-win situation for all of us. The City of Montgomery will pay the AHSA a host fee annually, which helps fund many of the projects in Montgomery, including the Summer Conference, the All-Star Sports Week, the AL.com's Champions Challenge, the Alabama-Mississippi All-Star Football and Basketball Games, the Principals and AD Conference, and the Alabama High School Sports Hall of Fame. According to city economic figures, the AHSA events have had an annual economic impact of approximately $8 million for Montgomery and surrounding communities. Mayor Todd Strange said that these events help showcase just what his city has to offer. We'll be back with more Inside the AHSAA in just a moment. With over 40 years of combined experience, Sign Source is the premier sign supplier for Central Alabama. From illuminated and monument signs for your business to banners, car wraps, or political yard signs for the individual, Sign Source can do it all. We specialize in designing sign concepts that get results. Contact us today at 256 825 0197 or on the web at signsourcenow.com. Go straight to the source. Sign Source. Customer service continues to be priority number one for Lee Apparel. Keeping with his mission, Lee Apparel is proud to announce the unveiling of the new website, leeapparel.com. Customers now will be able to go and shop for corporate and athletic apparel, customize their own design for these products, and order all at the click of a button. Whether it be for a club at your school, the youth group of your church, or helping to promote your growing business, leeapparel.com is the fun and simple way to get the job done. Design your own t-shirts have never been easier. Check out leeapparel.com today. Senior quarterback Garrett Lewis started for Sipsy Valley as a freshman in the school's first season in 2010, playing with few upperclassmen when the school at Buell opened its high school with students previously zoned for Tuscaloosa County High School. Lewis and his teammates saw their share of losses. In fact, Sipsy Valley lost its first 15 games before finishing 2-3 and three in the final half of last season. Friday night, Lewis ran and passed his way into the AHSAA record books with 543 total yards and four touchdowns in a wild 54-47 win over Curry to claim the AHSAA prep spotlight for week five of the 2012 football season. Lewis rushed for 11 times for 203 yards and one touchdown and passed for 340 yards and three touchdowns as Sipsy Valley, which is two and three, set school scoring and passing records in the big win. More importantly, Coach Antonio Ford's team recorded its fourth win in the last seven games dating back to the 2011 season. Lewis edged out John David Jennings, who had 340-yard rushing performance on 27 carries with four touchdowns as Galesville won its first game of the season, 40-13 over Coosa Christian. Also a close third was the defensive effort of Piedmont in its 7-0 win over Leeds in a battle of 3A unbeatens. Marquez Gamble and Xavier Jackson each had 10 tackles and combined for five of the line's seven sacks. Gamble also recovered a fumble on the Leeds 13-yard line to set up the game's only touchdown. 
Other top performances reported were Clancy Brown of Barry, who recorded 28 tackles and a 50-42 win over Lamar County and scored the game-winning 10-yard touchdown in overtime. Justin Henderson of Fairfield, the linebacker, had 22 tackles, including two for a loss in the Tigers' 21-19 setback to midfield. George Payne of St. Luke's. He ran 30 times for 329 yards and five touchdowns as St. Luke's down St. Jude 42-19. Caleb Beck of Dadeville. He completed 16 of 26 passes for 253 yards and six touchdowns in the Tigers' 42-34 win over Tallahassee in a Class 4A battle of unbeatens. Blake Bird of Corner. He accounted for 388 yards of total offense and four touchdowns in the 28-22 win over Hayden. Bird rushed for 119 yards and two touchdowns on 29 carries and completed 14 of 21 passes for 269 yards and two more touchdowns. Kerry Smith caught nine of his completions for 209 yards with TDs covering 53 and 83 yards. Then there's Zach Crocker of Coleman. He completed 29 of 39 passes for 277 yards and five touchdowns, two apiece to Mason Jones and Troy Forrest in a 42-21 home victory over Madison Academy. Jones finished with 11 catches, 10 in the first half, for 64 receiving yards. Among the big games this weekend is the Carver-Montgomery versus Auburn contest in Friday night at Auburn. This game pits the 4-1 Wolverines against the unbeaten Tigers in a key Class 6A Region 3 game. The battle will be televised live to the nation by ESPN. And in North Alabama, Muscle Shoals, which is 5-0, has yet to yield a touchdown and only nine total points this season. They host defending Class 5A state champ Hartzell, which is 4-1 Friday as the Tri-Cities headliner. Be sure to follow AHSA News on Twitter, at AHSA Updates. That's going to do it for Inside the AHSA. Thanks so much for being with us this week. Hope to see you next week on Inside the AHSA.